Hello and welcome to Night Parade, the show where we watch anime and talk about it for your entertainment. I'm Fat Man. I'm Darius. And tonight, we're reviewing we Black have... Lagoon. Or, or bitches be crazy. <laughs> Basically, you can call this shit's bananas, right, dude? This show is fucking insane. I love it. What happens when a Japanese businessman joins a group of pirates? Uh... <laughs> Probably one of the greatest action anime ever made. <laughs> Surprisingly, yeah. And that's considering JoJo's? Oh. Oh, wait, no, JoJo's is a different kind of action. This? This is, this is like Michael Bay shit, right? <laughs> Explosions, guns, girls. Violence, the maid Terminator. Local salary men too angry to stop pillaging South China Sea. <laughs> <laughs> that was what I. That's what I posted when I just started watching this. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking great. Oh. Sorry. I thought I'd make one good joke. Welcome to the age restricted episode of yeah. Night Parade. More age restricted than usual. With with the quotes from this uh, show that we're going to be talking about, yeah. Uh, the fuck do you mean, my guy? <laughs> <laughs> okay, example. Give anyone trying to escape an extra asshole. Beautiful. Ugh. I... I'm trying to find a list of them. There's probably more, <laughs> yeah. God's not in today, he's in Vegas. <laughs> So, we're going to be talking about the show, and spoilers may come up, so you've been warned. You've been warned, this shit's amazing. I don't want to spoil anything for you, so go watch it yourself, it's worth it. It's worth it, it's probably, it literally is the rule of cool. And a couple characters on this are uh, being added to the list of my fa uh, favorite anime characters of all time. Oh, sweet. Who makes the cut? Nawalaika? Who was that again? Uh, she's the... You know how uh, they they have an employer? Oh. She's their employer. Her. The right. Lady with the stars. She's scary. She's and very scary. fucking amazing. <laughs> she's very, so sassy. Very, very scary. So. What, my dude? The Black Lagoon manga, written and illustrated by Hiroe Rei, began its run on April 19th, 2002, and is still ongoing. Wait, you're shitting me. This, the manga's still ongoing? Yeah. It apparently yeah. took a six-year hiatus, but I think came back in 2017 or 2018. Oh, my body is ready. Yeah. I think there are 10 or 11 volumes published right now. Okay. So, that yeah, that surprised me when I found out as well. Good to know, dude. We need this shit. <laughs> I didn't you... know a whole lot about this show going into it. I saw a few anime reviewers talk about it back in the day, and a friend showed me an abridged series of it. Oh, shit, really? Yeah. That okay. I only watched, like, the first two minutes of. Even... <laughs> I, uh, I I only know this because of um, multiple reasons. I, I have a, I, I try to keep like my feelers down low for um shows like this. Yeah. Which sounds weird coming from me knowing you knowing my tastes, right? <laughs> yeah. But I keep my feelers on high alert for ultra violent <laughs> <laughs> banana bananas of uh blood, guts, and, uh, explosions. Not too big a fan of the gore. This but wasn't that gory. Gladly, this, uh, this show wasn't too gory. It was hella violent. Don't get yeah. me wrong. But the gore was on a pretty, pretty safe level. Yeah. And I can appreciate that, as I do not do blood well. Okay. Impressive. But, <laughs> so, uh, this was... I got a little thing before we, like, progress, dude. Yeah? You, you know I was, like, sick every single time we tried to watch, like, the last time we tried to get together for this? Yeah. Right? Like, I, I was in the... I 
I'm pretty sure I was busy that day, too. Well, I was in the hospital? Oh. Oh, you yeah, have... that. Last time we canceled the recording, it was because I don't... Yeah, because I forgot to take notes. <laughs> you forgot to take notes. I hadn't finished yet. Right. But the very first time I was in the hospital, and uh, I was feeling better, and I decided, oh, hey, let's just pop Black Lagoon on. Yeah. Maybe watch a couple episodes. And so... I'm forgetting that I'm hooked up to a heart monitor when I'm doing this, dude. Yeah. And so I'm watching Black Lagoon when my heart monitor starts going off. <laughs> it, it it settled down and then went back up as soon as... The, the, you know the scene in the first few episodes where they take a boat to a fucking airplane? Well, to a H helicopter. helicopter. Yes, that's so fucking cool. But... Yeah, my fucking heart rate went up, <laughs> and then the nurse started to come in, and I was just like, guess I can't watch the show. <laughs> I, I just wanted to inform the masses that the show will in fact get your pulse pounding and your heart monitors racing. Oh. Uh, right? Yes. This is not a boring show. It's... A bit difficult to get into if you're not used to this kind of stuff. This like it. This hmm? this will get your heart racing, literally. Yeah, literally and figuratively. It, it made Terminators. <laughs> the Expendables, but with tits. <laughs> Fantastic. That's my kind of show. <laughs> This is trashy in a good way, right? Oh. So, to uh, to clear things up, we watch this in dub. So, yeah. I've heard a bit of the sub with the uh, with the English. It's funny, I've heard, but... I've heard a bit of the sub as well, and actually listened to, like, a full episode in it. It falls flat for some reason, because it just doesn't have the energy of the dub. The dub is perfect. It's... Didn't we have, like, our dub... Like, our sub appearance friend gonna join us on this? Oh, yeah. We... I, f I forgot to tell Kuro we were recording. Don't worry, I talked to him. Yeah? Yeah, he did not like it. Ah. Uh... I, I actually have comments from him about his old thoughts on the show, if you're interested. Oh, go ahead. Uh, okay. He gave it a shot. It just didn't reel him in. Uh. It, it really wasn't his kind of show, which, honestly, I wasn't. I um, told him he needed to watch the dub. This is why you watch the dub for the show. The dub is so high energy. The voices match the characters. They feel real. Yes. It's not. Uh, and it's not a shitty dub. It's one of the. It, this is a classic. It beats Cowboy Bebop's dub, I think. I don't know. Well, it's in that category, though. Yeah, cause like when you're doing English, you can't get all the the accents of the different nations. Yeah, like. This had a cast of characters from basically everywhere. Yeah. So, it really helped, like, that Australian pothead. <laughs> oh, he was fantastic! Or the Chinese lady. Oh. God, this show's a fucking mess and I love it. But, yeah, we should gather ourselves. We described what it was about, yeah? Yeah. I... Actually, no, we didn't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> did we just go straight into how fucking awesome it is? Yes, we did. Sorry, we can't help ourselves. We love this show. Yes. We're, we're very jazzed about this anime. Do you want to explain what it's about, or should I? Go right ahead. Black Lagoon is about a Japanese businessman who was kidnapped, and his boss basically is less like, ah, eh, fuck it, he 
as far as we care, you're gone. We can't pay for your ransom. And that they'll just do a nice service for him and his family. And uh, he's like, fuck it. Screw the man. I'm becoming a pirate. <laughs> you are a pirate. Do what you want because the pirate is free. Like <laughs> it's the show. But yeah, it's about his life joining the Lagoon Company. And it's beautiful. Main or main character. The Japanese yeah. dude. His name is Rock, by the way. Don't call him anything else. He'll get very angry. <laughs> and probably yeet a gun into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a baby. I know. But he becomes so badass. He actually is kind of scary. Yeah. He He's not Nearly as scary as Balalaika, but... He whines, he cries, he complains all the time, but when... He doesn't wear... Most importantly, he, he does not wear the Hawaiian shirt Revy got him. Yes, he's a pirate that wears a business suit. I know. Fucking baller. Not, not even bothering for the Hawaiian shirt. No, that's Benny style. Yes. But when the situation calls for it, he's fucking scary. Yeah, wait. When he's Caught. in a, a sticky situation and he stops panicking and he's all calm and level-headed, he comes up with some crazy ideas and they work. Yeah. Or his, like, the way he speaks to people <laughs> is pretty terrifying as well. But Benny's a pretty chill guy. When they were cornered by a helicopter with missiles, it was his idea to ramp off of a nearby sunken ship and fire torpedoes while airborne at the helicopter. That, <laughs> that, that, was, that was, was like fucking well, insane. Yeah, everyone was like, "Are you fucking out of your mind, Rock?" <laughs> they were like, "Did did." Did your uh, choice to become a pirate, like, ten minutes ago, go to your fucking head? <laughs> yes. In a good way. Yeah. Good yeah. explanation. After joining the Black Lagoon... Er, that's... The, the show is called Black Lagoon, but... He, he works for the Lagoon Trading Company or something. Lagoon Company. Yeah. And they work... They're basically couriers. That do some illegal stuff to put food on the table. And that's okay. Yeah. Gotta live somehow. All of the members of the Lo Lagoon Company are, like, those on, like, the edge of society. Right? Yeah. We've got Revy the Orphan. Shit, what's wrong with Dutch? I don't know if we've learned that yet. We know Revy's an orphan and stuff. We know Benny is, like, a college student from Florida. <laughs> <laughs> who somehow managed to piss off the Mafia and the FBI at the same time. Um, don't know much about Revy, but we know some. She's not a happy camper. No. It's completely understandable, though. Revy's crazy. She's scary. She's a murder machine. Don't call her two hands for nothing. She'll put a bullet in your head with a smile on her face. Absolutely. And then there's their boss, Hotel Moscow. And Hotel Moscow has a lady who seems to, uh, revel in violence and war. Is she really their boss, though? Technically, yeah. They work with her sometimes, but not exclusively. But for the most part. They do work with her, so... Okay. By some extent, she's their boss. Yeah. Right? Okay. Well, she's more their boss in later seasons. Okay, I, I haven't seen those yet, so... I I've seen a fair amount of stuff, and it seems... Second season has a lot of balalaika in it. Ooh. Including, but not limited to, a uh, balalaika... Basically by herself murdering a vampire... A vampire? Yes, a vampire. Oh, With my... a sniper rifle. <laughs> and her words. 
I didn't think this show was gonna go supernatural. Damn, Balalaika, you scary? Oh boy. I only know this from a compilation known as Damn Balalaika, you scary? <laughs> Which includes, um, the wonderful quote. Uh, hold on, I need to find it, cause it's... It's... Honestly, something sh fucking nuts. I'm trying to find it. Okay. Okay. Here you are. <clears throat> Basically, I, I don't remember the context for this, but Rock pissed her off or something. Yeah. And, and she's got a fucking rock against, like, a car with, like, a gun on his forehead. <laughs> and, and Rock's still talking shit. Like, that... Like he does sometimes. Yeah. And then Battle Like is just like, there are two things you remember when begging for your life. One is to try to entertain the person holding the gun to your head, and the other is to give that person a convincing reason why they shouldn't kill you. But you haven't managed to do either of those things. <laughs> so let's hear it. What obligation do you have to save them? Terrifying. Right? <laughs> Ah. Uh, oh, God, this show's just so cool. Okay. So, Bella Like is your favorite character? Bella Like is my favorite. I think Dutch He's, is my favorite. I mean, Dutch is close second. He's so fucking cool. In the heat of battle or in a Basically, situation where anyone else would be panicking, he's just calm and collected, thinking carefully about what he should do next. Oh, jeez, oh, yeah, the show is fucking great, dude. Dutch is oh. so badass. He took on a ship of neo Nazis. With Revy. With Revy. And the two of them. earned the respect of, the, of their leader. Yeah, it was so. <laughs> and then they two play a freaking game at the end of it. Like, what? Like the loot. The, the two. Revy and uh, Dutch played a game with the lieutenant guy. Remember? I don't remember. Like, when it came, came to just the oh, lieutenant, right. Dutch, well, Dutch, Revy tossed a gun at him and then was just like, Hey, Dutch, money on black? Yeah. <laughs> yep, money on black. They gave him a gun to shoot himself, and they and he chose to try to shoot Dutch instead. Because, of, of course, he'd try to shoot the black guy. He's a neo-Nazi. Yeah. And then it ends up, Dutch just fucking blows his brains out. Yeah. Or the fact that he just wanders into the captain's quarters, waving a shotgun around, saying, What's going on? And basically interrogates the boss <laughs> of their organization over the phone. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Bunch of Nazis died, so that was a good episode. Yeah, it was. A very good episode. Dead Nazis. <laughs> But, like, oh, like, what, what, our characters are basically Revy, Dutch, and Rock. And Benny. I, and Benny. Well, he, Benny doesn't get as much screen time as I thought. Benny doesn't get a lot of action, but I totally respect him as a person. He's yeah, awesome. Yeah, his, char his character is definitely there with how little there is of him, though. He's so, he's so chill and fucking back talks. Uh, <laughs> he back talks, uh, Revy and Dutch sometimes, and it's funny. Yeah. He's got, like, no combat experience in the, in this group of mercenaries, but... Yeah. He, he stands his own ground. Even Rock, even Rock's attempted to pick up a firearm, and then he's just like, leave me out of this shit. <laughs> right? Yeah. But yeah, this show is fucking phenomenal, dude. They're a bunch of outcasts, and they're so comfortable together. I love watching them. Yeah, when they they, they go to the bar, like, this is fucking cheers after the end of their, their jobs, right? Yeah. And the I love the long-running gig that the bar is seemingly always shot up by Ravi. <laughs> <laughs> or the bartender assumes it is. Yeah. He, he he's implied that she's destroyed his bar many times. <laughs> like, the bar gets burnt down in, like, one of the later episodes, and he's just like, 
So, uh, who am I paying for sending the bill to? Yeah. <laughs> and he's just like, yeah, he's like, it wasn't me this time. Uh, but didn't Bella like us say she'd, uh, reimburse Put the bill? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bella like us decided, yeah, fuck it, I'll pay for this. <laughs> the main Terminator just decided to come by. Oh, I thought she was dead after that explosion. Dropped a bunch of grenades out of her skirt and blew up with them, but I th <laughs> then she just walked out of the fire. Kurt, he's in now comes up, but Julian Gums. She's Old scary. Grenades. She is actually scary. You know what made me laugh in that was like, you know how her own umbrella was a gun? Yeah. The moment she fired with it, Revy was just casually to Dutch, like, Hey Dutch, I know what I want for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. I, I wonder if, uh, wonder if, you, you know the movie Kingsman? I'm vaguely aware of it. Uh, like a modern spy, it, it's a modern spy film. I, uh, I wonder if they got the idea for the umbrella gun from Black Lagoon. Hmm. Or where they got that, because there's a character in, in Kingsman that uses a, uh, a bullet blocking umbrella that is also a gun. Ah, that's a great movie. Yeah. Anyway, what haven't we talked about? I don't know. Oh, uh, I did a bunch of research for this, but I can't think of a time to put it, uh, to uh, talk about any of it. This, uh, so I'm just gonna put it in right now. Yay! Mm hmm. Or, I suppose we could talk about the art. Art? Very good. It's it looks good. It flows good. The first season of Black Lagoon ran from uh, April 9th, 2006 to June 25th, 2006 in Japan. And it it's got that that classic 2000s look. High quality good stuff. Yeah. And I don't really know how else to exp to uh, describe it. Yeah. It's definitely 2000s. Hi, Octane Energy, right? Yeah. Everything looks... Also, the soundtrack. Oh my god, the soundtrack. I keep forgetting to take notes about the music. I mean, the music wasn't as notable as it was in some other shows. Oh? Wait a minute. Our... I have something for this. Oh. Is it about the OP? It's about the OP. The OP... Uh, for Black Lagoon, the first and second season, is... And the OVA. The OVA uses it too? Yeah. Okay. So, the Black Lagoon OP is called Red Fraction, and it's by a singer called Mel, whose voice you may recognize from other anime music, including tracks from <laughs> Hayate the Combat Butler, Ride Back, Shakugan no Shana, High School of the Dead, and Sky Girls. So she has done quite a few anime songs. Yeah. I forgot to research the ED. The ED was mostly just instrumental. Yeah. It's but still I nice to know who did it. It kind of flew in, like, the... It sort of snuck in, like, to the like roundabout did for JoJo. Yeah. Right? That's, that's the example I was going to use. Like... It, it's, it starts playing near the end of the episode, and sometimes you... It it just sounds like background music. And, and then, then the ending hits, and like, oh! Oh, it's over! Well, shoot. Like, sometimes I tapped out while it was playing that music to, like, check something. Yeah. And then I go back to the anime, and it's just... The ED is basically just Revy walking on the shoreline. Yeah. And then, at the end, the music pumps up, and she pulls out a fucking grenade launcher. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's, uh, the ED is pretty somber. Definitely. Like, it's almost as somber as monsters. Yeah. But that ED is depressing as shit, right? <laughs> I'll have to listen to it again, I haven't heard it in a while. Let's see, what else we got? You got anything else to talk about? Not particularly. It's just we were doing this as filler while we waited for, uh... What was it, the winter season shows to be done? Oh, yeah. Which reminds me, our winter shows, my dude. 
Uh, next week we're going to start doing our favorite shows from anime mm -hmm. winter 2019. That aren't long running or ongoing. Yeah. So yeah. look forward to that. Have that stipulation. Right. Yep. Gotta do some editing on that Sekiro video. Get that out soon. Yeah. Because we talked about a video game. We talked about a video game. And I made a great thumbnail. Yeah. A fucking fantastic thumbnail. I Thank can't you. wait to see what else you do. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to up my game, dude. I can see. Makes sense? Yeah. Like, a lot of the ones I did felt, like, hastily put together. Ah. In, in the sense that I mostly did them, like, a couple hours before they were due. Yeah. But, yeah, this just felt better. Awesome. So, oh, before we... Yeah. Close it up. I had one more uh, on trivia point to uh, bring up. Hold on a sec. Okay. Let's wrap this up. My friend's outside. Oh, okay. I just had a bit of trivia before we end this. Okay. So, <clears throat> we do research on voice actors occasionally. Yeah. And, oh boy. <laughs> Guess which... Is it Revy? Is it Rock? It's Rock. Ooh, what's Rock been in? The English voice actor for Rock. His name is Brad Swale. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah? Is the voice actor for another... Oh. What's he's, the show? He's a certain death-obsessed high schooler. That's the kid? No. That's the... I don't know him. He, uh, he often is, uh, writing in his notebook. Oh, yeah, Light Yagami. He's Light Yagami. Mm. Rock is Light Yagami. But, yeah, let's add some good shit to know. <laughs> oh, they're like polar opposites. Yeah. That's some good range, though. Yeah, it is. So, what? general thoughts of the show. 10 out of 10. <laughs> yeah. 10 out of 10 made my heart monitor go off. Great show, 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. I. <laughs> it's perfect. I can't think of a single negative thing to say about it. I mean, it looks a little funny, but that's it. <laughs> I love the way it looks. Yeah, but let's end this, dude. Okay. I'm in my chair and shit. Alright. So, if you want to watch it for yourself, you can catch it on Funimation or Hulu. Yep. I watched it on Funimation. And next week, we will be talking about Hinamaro Zumo. Hell yeah. See you then, right? Yep. We've shared our thoughts, but we'd like to hear yours as well in the comments below and on our Discord. Night yep. Parade has come to an end. We'll see you next week. See you next week. Later. Later.